This is Russ Davis speaking to you from ringside. Again, here at the International Amphitheater. Uh, this music that you hear in the background is for a very fine Hawaiian boy, Sweet Leilani. Leilani is actually his name. I think he uses one of these old tunes as kind of a background. He's running around here in the audience giving away these beautiful Hawaiian lay. I don't know whether I'm fit for one or not. I think they're just given to the ladies. Hmm, boy, the big husky boy. New beach boy, huh? He's a good looking one. It's the young one, too. We'll get this all made official here in a minute. Careful, boy, the ropes are a little slack here. Get them taken up. This boy, Leilani, is all done out here in a Kanaka outfit. That, uh, well, it's kind of a, a Dorothy Lamour kind of a sarong thing with a whole bunch of, uh, of uh, well, they're really a very black hard nut that are all strung together in little strings of eight or ten that just clack when he goes by. Here's the ring announcer. The sun exhibition of the evening, one fall with a 30 minute Time limit. From Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing 215, Carl Meyer. <laughs> From Hawaii, weighing 225, Elo Leilani. The referee, Andy Scott. Well, Andy Scott has called these boys the center of the ring. This is Russ Davis speaking to you from International Amphitheater, where we have the spectacle of a Kanaka boy, a Hawaiian boy, wrestling uh, a guy from this side, Carl Myers from Milwaukee. And he's a bigger one. Well, he stands about six foot three and is a real husky. Lonnie wrestles barefooted, as most of the boys do from out in the islands. The explanations are rather simple. These are Texas rules, catches, catch can. Nothing illegal but uh, pickaxes, brass knucks, hitting with a doubled up fist, gouging or choking. Ooh wee, you can hear the little gasp go up from the crowd here when Lonnie exposes <laughs> these wrestling trunks of his. Oh, he's a big fella. He's really a whopper. Wham. Boy, he doesn't mess with them. Rather, looks as though Mr. Meyer has a hat full here. There's an arm lock falling again. It's two of them in a row. Here's a knee lock braced. hate to hear those calls over the PA system because it always reminds me that something's wrong. Maybe I'm just uh, kind of given to be an old boogeyman. But always hate to hear them call. Meyer countered there with a short kangaroo. Boy, he can really lug himself around by those robes. Now you quit heckling the customers, Mr. Meyer. This is Carl Meyer. And he's a rough one. Have to break it up there on the ropes. Watch him. That one landed right on Lonnie's gizzard bone there. Uh oh, there's a judo lake across the neck. He doesn't mess with them, and they're legal. Meyer doesn't want to come out, Lonnie, but you got him. Oh, 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 did he slap him in the bacon then? There's an arm lock over the robes, which is the way Mr. Meyer likes to work. A couple of judo licks. Another one. Another one. Mr. Meyer will rent any old armor that happens to be sticking around at the moment.
Mm. That's a nice body scissors. Open now. Zitzer. There's another one. Mr. Meyer could not uh, grab the ropes there to help himself out at all. Well, well, here's a cute one. Is called jogging your thinking down. It's like getting caught in a in a cooling fan. That's for sure. It's a double reverse arm lock that Lonnie has. He's under the rope. Lonnie's wanting him turned. Biggest trouble here is in getting away from Meyer without getting fouled up. You can hear Andy Scott yelling there. Mr. Meyer, you came awful close to being count it out then chump he's a little trigger happy with this boy at all on he's never wrestled him before hey uh, fellas uh, this is me right here <laughs> please don't hammerlock Mr. Meyer, we do not play football in this ring. Here's Lonnie with a flying toehold by Mr. Meyer. If she did, you wouldn't have any customers. Seems like one of our lady fans here on my side of the ring does not like Mr. Meyer. Uh, 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 uh. It was a good tough one right across the brass bone. Keep your eyes on these guys, Glinky. Scott trying to break this thing up. Uh oh. Side mare on Meyer. He managed to get himself out of the ring, however. Come on, get it, get it. Dad, boy. Mm. Ooh, what a crusher that one was. Your backbone is out of shape before that starts. That'll rearrange it. Well, this is a cute one, did huh? This is a double arm lock. It actually consists of an arm lock on one side and a scissors on the other arm. The way Lonnie's putting it on here. One, two. Mr. Meyer just barely makes it up out of there every time. This is a head and shoulders scissors. I've never seen one quite like this before. Plus, 
and arm lock on the other side of Myers there. Here we go again. Uh, careful, Mr. Scott, you're going to fall off right in the official's lap there. That's a good boy. Get back in the ring. Couldn't do without an umpire. Boy Meyer breaks very cagely. He doesn't want to give up a thing. Lonnie trying here for a hammer lock when he caught one right above the thing that made Mr. Doan rich. Another hammer lock being attempted here by Lonnie. Mr. Meyer, sir. Now you've made him mad. Now you're going to get it. If he can get you out in the clear here. Drag. Mm, look how that boy caught that side mare coming off of the ropes. Still a fraction of an inch left here on Meyer's shoulders or Scott would have counted him out. Lonnie's come up here with a wrist lock now. Don't play pinkies with him, Mr. Meyer. Let go of his toes. Individually, you cannot play with them. Collectively, yes. Fine there. There was a drop kick. Another one. Maybe. One, two, three. Well, we'll make this all official here in a minute. Mr. Meyer is complaining. We can get it all cleared up here now. Here comes the ring announcer. 11 minutes and 13 seconds with a drop kick and body press. Winner, the lonely on me. Hello, Louis. A lowly honey has won this match thusly from Carl Meyer from Milwaukee. This is Russ Davis speaking to you from ringside. Hope you've enjoyed the match. It's just another one that Fred Kohler has presented to the crowd here at International Amphitheater.